I don't know if you remember Huey Green, and I say this most sincerely. Do you remember Huey Green? Opportunity knocks. Well, uh, a fellow called uh, Bromion, 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 has left a message a few times actually saying Huey Green allegedly displayed a skeleton of Michael Miles because he was always jealous of the popularity of the game show Take Your Pick. The game show was the greatest show known to mankind. I'm not sure about that, but um, uh, I do know that um, uh, Huey Green was a sort of icon of 1960s and early 1970s television viewing, and I sort of grew up with uh, Huey Green and this variety club, End of the Pier Entertainment, where we had the clapometer, I think. Um, and various people like Frankie Vaughan were discovered through the intercession of Huey Green. Now, Huey Green was also a monster. He was a homophobe, a bigot, a bully, a serial bigamist, uh, or not a serial bigamist, a, 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 a philanderer, a philanderer. Um, and he sired a child with Paulie Yates, I think. I don't remember. Um, and uh, he seems to have been, on the one hand, this incredibly genial TV character, and on the other, something of a sort of monster. So I don't, I don't know where, where you would stand on the Huey Green uh, spectrum, whether you would like him or not like him. I, I think like many of the people from the 1960s uh, who were regularly on my telly, Scylla Black as well, a person who apparently had feet of clay. Um, well, I remember her in black and white, singing and dancing, and I couldn't have been happier. I was probably very young at the time, um, and that's how I remember her. And the same with Huey Green. I think we shouldn't. Um, I think we shouldn't let reality <laughs> intrude too much on our childhood memories. Let's not destroy the past too much.